Let's solve this equation containing rational expressions. We will multiply through by the LCD. I have denominators of a minus 3, again a minus 3, and then 2. So the LCD is 2 times a minus 3. I will multiply through by that, which means by the distributive property, each term is multiplied by 2 times a minus 3. So 2 times a minus 3 times the first term, a over a minus 3, is equal to 2 times a minus 3 times this term, 3 over a minus 3, and then minus 2 times a minus 3 times 3 halves. All right, it's going to get very nice in just a moment. Notice the a minus 3's divide out, and I have 2 times a, or simply 2a, is equal to, again, the a minus 3's divide out. 2 times 3 is 6, minus the 2's divide out, and I have a minus 3 times 3. Now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out, but you be very, very careful because of this negative sign. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and write it down. It's negative 3 times a minus 3, because I want to make sure you understand the signs that I get. So that's 2a is equal to 6. Now let's multiply out. Negative 3 times a, that's negative 3a. I'll write minus 3a. And then negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. I'll write plus 9. Do we have any like terms on either side of the equation? The answer is yes. On the right side, 9 plus 6, that's 15, and then I have minus 3a. Now let's add 3a to both sides. 2a plus 3a is 5a is equal to 15, and then how do I finish solving? Divide both sides by the coefficient of a, which is 5, and I'll have that a is 15 divided by 5, or 3. Now, let's look at the original equation because when you're dealing with variables in the denominator, you've always got to check and make sure that your proposed solution does not make the denominator zero. Remember, that's undefined. If a is 3, notice here 3 minus 3 is 0. That actually forces this expression and this expression to be undefined. Our proposed solution then, in fact, does not check, and the solution is no solution. There is no solution to this equation.